For many people, Memorial Day represents a day to officially begin summer activities. Hot dogs and cold drinks, good music and swimming pools, and the joy of being together with family and friends. But many of us know and believe that this day represents so much more than that. It represents an answering to a call, a call that almost certainly guarantees being placed in harm's way, and in many circumstances, the unfortunate case to not be able to return home. At times, this is a call that requires you pay the ultimate sacrifice. Since the Revolutionary War ended, more than 646,000 American troops have died in battle. And more than 539,000 have died from other non-combat related causes. To put that into perspective, that's the equivalent of the entire city of San Diego. More than two and a half million American troops deployed in support of Operations Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, and New Dawn. Of those, 5,364 died in combat, and another 1,476 died in non-hostile incidents. You see, Memorial Day is a day for our nation to think back upon and recall those brave men and women who perished giving everything they had for a nation they loved. Its inception began with families remembering those who died at the end of a war we fought within our own borders, a war between states. It was a war between brothers. And it left 600,000 dead, missing from families, and graves that needed to be adorned. It was the simple act of honoring and adorning soldiers' graves with the flowers of May that gave birth to Decoration Day. Now known as Memorial Day, it was officially observed for the first time in May of 1868 at Arlington National Cemetery. It was a date not selected as the anniversary of a battle, but because the flowers would be in bloom all over the country so that everyone could recognize all of our fallen soldiers. You see, for many families across this nation, Memorial Day is a day to mourn. And it can be a stark and painful reminder that these fallen heroes never got the chance to come home and be honored as veterans. Their sacrifice to this country in the line of duty is one of the highest acts of selfless sacrifice. And it's a service done for their, for their fellow Americans, many of whom they never met. To all of our Gold Star families who have lost a loved one in the line of duty, we as Americans can never repay your family's sacrifice, but we can try by honoring their memory and honoring all of those who dare to wear the uniform in defense of this nation. Sadly, there is no war here on our home. While there is no war here on our homeland, many of our brave men and women in uniform continue to place themselves in harm's way in the fight for freedom and democracy around the world. Some may not return home, and those who do may never be the same. It is our duty as grateful citizens to honor the legacy of those lives lost and to respect the heroism of those who returned home. Furthermore, there's approximately 18 million veterans living in the United States. And according to the VA, there are still roughly 389,000 living World War II veterans. These veterans stood next to their fellow brothers and sisters at arms in the heat of battle, but returned home alone, many with scars both seen and unseen. We think of these veterans and grieve with them in their pain, and today we say to them, you are not alone. We have an obligation to provide and care for the veterans who have returned home, and especially for those Gold Star families who, has, who have lost loved ones in the line of duty and remind them that they are not abandoned and their pain is shared by all of us. So let us honor the memory of our nation's heroes who are no longer here with us. Let us remember the pain of those who have sacrificed so much. Let us make every day in our own lives count and let us find ourselves worthy of the cost of freedom, a cost that was paid for by blood, sweat, and tears. Memorial Day may be viewed as the beginning of summer, but let's make it more than hot dogs and fireworks. 
Let's make Memorial Day a day to remember the faceless names who cannot be here for their loved ones and be grateful for the freedoms that they have provided. We are the land of the free because of the brave.